All right. Electricity and plumbing students. Mr. Void here. So um, maybe I can make this just a little bit bigger. So I have a glass table I'm working off of here at home. Doesn't work real hot. But anyway, lab four. We are switching to a different kind of circuit now. We've been using uh, duplex receptacles and <clears throat> single poles chin of light. Now we're going to switch to a different kind of switch here. At this point, I want to remind everybody that it will matter. Remember, a single pole switch is it didn't matter which side or which terminal you put your hot feed on and which side you put what was being fed on. You could, didn't matter. Well, for these, it matters and it matters a lot. So you're going to have to keep certain things straight. I've already talked about this with you in class, but that terminal right there and that terminal right there are called commons. So as you can see, we have two switches here. Both of them are going to control these two lights up here. So if I, if let's say this, these lights are off. So I, these are connected together. So they're either both going to be on or both going to be off. Let's say they're both off right now. And I come and maybe one of these switches is, the, is at the bottom of some steps and one is at the top. Uh, I want to go up the steps. I click this switch. Okay, well, when I do that, both the lights go on. Obviously, if I switch that switch again, they would go off. But if I switch it on, I walk up the steps, and no matter what position this is in, I click it, it should go off. And if I walk back down the steps in the dark and I click that, it'll go back on. So it doesn't matter. In a single pole switch, if you look at it, it'll say off on one side and on on the other because there's no other things in the circuit to get involved. It's either on or it's off. Well, in these switches, they can be on or off in either position, depending on the position of the other switch. And again, I've went over this. I diagrammed this on the board. So that should be pretty clear. What we need to do now is understand we have a three-way switch circuit with two lights. Both switches control the lights. It's all on one circuit, but the feed is to the left switch box. Okay, right here. So... How do we wire this? And I'm going to tell, again, the key to this. It's actually, I think it's actually easier than the things we've been doing once you catch on. You feed one of your common terminals, and the other common terminal feeds your circuit. Okay? So, right, actually, I think I've been saying this backwards. My feed isn't here. My feed is here. I'm sorry. My, I think I've been saying my feed comes in here. But it doesn't. I'm sorry. I was looking at this wrong. Here's my feed right here. It's my right one. So down here it says feed to left switch box. This is wrong. This should be feed to right switch box. I got to fix that. Okay. I got to fix that. Because here's my feed right here. This goes out to my lights. So right now I'm going to feed that switch with hot electricity. And that one is going to feed my circuit. Again. Feed here to my common. This feeds my circuit. Okay? So what I mean by that, remember, there's this is a 14 or 12 2. A black wire in there, a white wire in there. I have to feed my circuit. This is my black wire going right to my common terminal. Whatever I'm feeding with electricity out here. Again, this is a 14 or 12 2. My black wire will feed right to my common terminal. If my feed was coming in here and the what was going out there was feeding that, it would be just the opposite. That would be my feed. This would be feeding my circuit. That is really important, people. Okay. <clears throat> we are then going to come up here, and obviously this is going to be fed with two hot wires there, and I'm going to feed that to my light over here so this is the end of my run right to my light i'm going to show you the rest of this down here in just a moment well maybe i should do it now so that that's how i hook up my hot electricity this wire obviously there's going to be a black wire a red wire and a white wire and a ground wire in there so these are really easy if you have a three-way switch circuit, this should be the easiest of your wires. 
I'm going to take the black in here and the red in here, and I'm going to hook them to these two terminals. It doesn't matter if the black goes here or there. Obviously, the red will go opposite. Just make sure you put the black or the red over here on the same terminal. So if I go black to here, I'm going to go black to here. Okay. Then I take a, my red wire in here, and I go to there. I take my red wire in here, and I go to there. Those wires are literally what we call travelers. They literally connect the light terminals on the two switches. That's it. So I take my hot in my feed, hook it to my common. I take my hot that goes out and feeds everything else, hook it to my common, and I hook my two travelers on light terminals. You're done down here with all your hot feed, right? Pretty simple. Then I went up here and just connected my hot. This should look familiar to you, right? Those two things. Okay, so now we have to have return electricity, right? So up here, return electricity is easy, right? Right there. Over here, it's, it's relatively easy as well because we got to go like this. Okay, over here. We don't get return electricity to switches, guys. We don't have to hook that to our switch. We don't have to hook this to our switch, but they got to be hooked together because this up here needs return electricity. So you got to get it hooked in. That's pretty simple. Okay, it's going to be the same for our ground. Our ground is just going to come, I'm going to come around here into my ground. That's pretty simple. Over here, again, we hook our grounds together. Pigtail to my ground. Down here, hook my grounds together. Pigtail to my ground. Hook my grounds together. I'm like a broken record. Pigtail to my ground, and I'm done. I think this is relatively straightforward, but it's always hard for students. So, I mean, I it's no shame if this confuses you. But I'm telling you, the key is understanding commons and then understanding travelers go together. It's really not as complicated, I think, sometimes as students make it. But be that as it may, you need to practice. All right. We're going to do another version of this for our next one. It's the same thing. It's like with lab 2A and 3. Same lab, different feed location. That's what we're going to do for lab 4A.